be no black folks and on the lighter side which one big old bull looks like it anyway might be a rainbow crowd who knows but I really don't think so I think that's a bull and he's looking at which one so let's look up at the big penis is in the sky we know that there is four to 78 times the size of the Sun and there's over a hundred of them and 101 if you include the Sun in there and the super giants anyway must be tough being a walrus. Check that out. Sea lion. Down there at Roth well, we're down at one of the Lima Bean stations down there, South Georgia webcam. Wanna say hi to all the Brits. Nothing more than a poke in the eye. Check this out. Which one? CME's off the sun today. Or on the twenty eighth. I think it's the closest I'll get. I ain't even gonna look at the twenty ninth because I don't think it'll be there. So I might lie and go ahead and take a look at the 29th, but this is what you got going on right now. And thanks to uh, Sechi and whoever, any branch, uh, Mark and the country, the yeah countries, the planets for us there, Mercury, Saturn. So take a look at uh, your constellation charts and see what's next to Saturn. And I'm pretty sure you'll only see Mercury and Venus being listed as what you'll see off the of camera shots. But as you see, truth bleeds, you know, black. Big penis in the sky. Some unintelligent, flip the coin, intelligent here basically are telling me to take a look down there. And I was looking at Tenerife and you've seen pretty much what I saw. Uh, what you sent me, I, I'm not, I haven't even worried about because I don't, I think I can trust you. But what I was going to wait and see is when I see it and then I'll pop it up. And as you can see, you can see uh, Ort and or either that or the only excuse for here and we know it's not the excuse because it stays identical in all the Hawaii footage is you got propagation here propagation here propagation here propagation here okay and uh, you see what we would call Oort cloud out either that or you'd have to confirm that the idea that this is some plume action off the volcano there or this is at Tenerife, and you, at night you will see the colored stars that you would normally see at the north and south pole, ladies and gentlemen, axis turn, axis turn, okay? This is a good uh, webcams and everything, like all their information and stuff like that. They almost have faster, better links if you go through some of their links than the U.S. stuff does. Can't guarantee the observa observation point, but can guarantee that the angle of the dangle of the camera on the 27th here on this still was a little different. And as you see, folks, we got growth going on here because normally you'd see a little bit more of an indention here. And yes, they have moved over a little bit, but if you remember when you have looked and seen the supergiants and the sun and whatever we have up in space right here with all the brightness, you got an indention that was deeper here. And as you can see, so the something is creating this boulder here. Okay? So, and let's go to a still. Okay, because basically you can scan back through this and catch anything you want to see. I don't really see anything totally, just basically the only thing that's most interest is all the growth here. And then the angle compared to what you've seen on the footage a minute ago. Okay. And then here's the other planets. Okay. And as you see, we don't have that bright coming through the uh, solar panel as we did on the other shot and as you can kind of see it's farther out on the well if you look at you're used to looking at the well down here which the solar panel pretty much covers up on this shot here uh, you can see that it's a little farther to towards earth so that's your shot there there's a cross for you like I say there's lots of crosses out there and then let's check that out for a second let's take a look at that since it's got you know got such kind of colorization of wing so forth more than likely it's a, uh, something planet smaller near that let's take a look at zoomed up and just before I'm going to zoom in here also look at the large okay up here by the Sun all this here okay and then also just before I'm going to zoom in check this cross action here also out here not just this cross action of there 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 and yes folks there's a shitload of stars there's crosses everywhere if you want to just look at them but then astronomy too, draw the lines and make objects out of stars and points you see so I'm not the one that's trying to take a paintbrush out and paint your stuff. You just see what you see, okay? So this is very large here. All these are very large and below to it would look like if we were sitting on, you know, 
Anyway, they're, they're below us, and they're at an angle below the sun and the supergiants here, angle below us in this in our planets, Mars, Venus here. Okay. Very large. Boom, 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 boom. You get across there. Okay. So let's take a look at that. Did you basically this was what we're interested in looking at blowing up since it's look got an interesting and also interesting propagation there, winged. And since I'm viewing it on here and I I don't have time to go spreading it around, I can't zoom in because I can only go to what I'm at right now. So there you go. More facts of that. It's not just CME action, folks. It's the supergiants. Okay? Main sequence in the sun. And the sun is hanging out in the supergiants main sequence. Very bright. And as you see, and I've showed you before over here, you can scroll down. And every hour that these shots get taken all the time, it's not a CME. There are CMEs there that probably get captured in it. But all, uh, basically, if you see this glow out here, this is probably the CME, CME action, and actually not. It's actually the glow off the supergiants. The CME action you see is in the movies, is where you'll notice it in the movies. And when they blow smoke up your ass and say that those are all the CMEs combined, horse hockey! Look up horse hockey. It's horse shit. A lot of stuff that's classified on the backside of the sun today. Okay, from two. Let's go to the other camera. And here we'll be able to zoom. So we go ahead and zoom in on what catches our eye right off the bat. And on the first thing that I, you know, duh, you see that. But that's the next thing that catches your eye right there. So let's zoom in and take a look at that. Now, you, what catches your eye is when I zoom in and we know about the halo effect, okay? More than likely that remnant, that large one we see because it puts off a big shadow. Uh, that catches your eye, okay? At least it catches my eye. And then eyes. And then we'll go up and we'll see what... Because you know when that CME action goes out, it's sure showing something right there. Doesn't matter if it's a star cluster or a planet or something. It sure gets slowed down by some object. And we'll go to Beacon and see what we probably have there. Okay. That's why when people look at stars at night up on the end and they ended up saying, hey, what are we going to call the hard course? The black diamond course. Okay, let me go diamond triangulation up here. Some planets and we triangulation all the time. More than likely triangulation here. And there's a flopper. There's all the horseshoe in the sky right there. Tons of stuff out there. And here we are in our telescope in the sky in space. Remember that that solar arm is blocking out the super giants there in the sun. And then you got one shot on one side and the other shot on the other and I'll let it play out and you can see the CME action the light propagation it's not the Sun turning to us we rotate to the Sun ladies and gentlemen so you see when you see it light up like that that is huge CME action out there in space watch the star group to the way bottom of Earth and to the way right on the right hand corner and this is from first through the 31st so it's huge CME action on certain days hours minutes let this play through now and that's CME action folks that's not a night and a day okay those the number right there the 0, 01 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 now as it goes those are days see the clock okay so, and it's not the sun rotating to us, folks. It's not the sun rotating to us. Those are giant CME actions. I don't know why that that. Okay. I can think I can use the player there. These are giant CMEs that are happening in space. And yes, it's also the accumulation of the footage but it's not night and day in space folks there's not night and day in space 24 7 ladies and gentlemen the super giants are a glowing we rotate earth rotates to the sun okay we rotate to the east the sun goes away in the west a duh 
Okay, so huge CMEs through this day clock time every pretty much day put together. So they probably just basically put a day shot together, but you see CME action on certain days, huge, okay? And then it exposes space, stuff out in space. So when you get a huge CME day, it's a very good way to take a peek out in space. It's what's hidden at a different position, i.e. just watch this group down here and you will see. I'm going to hit the player back so you, it'll play through, but you watch this whole cluster down here out in space, massive miles we're talking. Almost infinity, and as you see the deep darkness of space and the gap right there. So huge amounts of massive planets, stars, asteroid belts, everything below us. Okay, more density below Earth and all the planets here. As you see, Venus, Mercury, Mars. Sorry about saying Mercury, but it probably could be in the shot. You just got to pick it out. Okay, huge planets below. You see that huge planet there, and I do not believe that that is Jupiter at all. So there's a huge planet down below, to the right, and see all this action there. And as you see, there is. I'm gonna freeze. Try to freeze that. If I can freeze that right there. Okay, I think I got it. You see all this? Now that's below the supergiants and as you see they were CME and very bright here on the solar panel and then you see all the huge check out how huge and how far away that there is star planet or whatever right there okay and then the the just the intensity of the grouping of all these planets and stars here 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 okay so we're in a fishbowl, folks. Remember, when you're looking out here, this is like looking in a fishbowl, and it's like looking out a periscope in space in a fishbowl, okay? We follow the sun in a circle, like a record. Look at your DVD. It turns in a circle, too. So great shots. Thanks, Setch. Thanks, Setchy. Great shots, Setchy. Thanks, Setchy. All uh, right, a little news, and basically just showing this because basically there was a, uh, it's just been some bad luck down south there. Uh, also in uh, the Brazilian thing, there was a fire at a UPS. Basically, UPS, folks, is an uninterrupted power system, okay? So when your regular power gets interrupted, or basically they're probably down there using it for power all the time, uh, the Brazilian area had a, and they had three Navy uh, injuries, two deaths, uh, fire at the uh, Brazilian station down there. Okay, so this stuff here, don't uh, basically don't take something from nothing. Basically, just showing you that basically, uh, probably sh you know, I would I command someone for hanging out and playing around down there at that age. You know, must want them to see something. So basically, we're here at H1A on the 28th, and we'll back out, but I wanted you to see that, that CME action there going through space at the left hand. You see that there? You can't miss it. It's what the brightness that you see. Yeah, if anybody's trying to act stupid. And you can see the CME action coming across the sky, so we'll blow down at like probably, what, 200 here? We'll get a look. All the CME action coming off of the super giants. Check that out. And as you see the clock go, like I mentioned before, the lightning laser action that we are getting, because that's the hours that are flipping by, and you see that flare coming off of the sun and the supergiants, folks. Check that out. Okay, so there is definitely more than just CME action going on. Bang, bang, clang, clang. Or there is just one sun that is spinning around real fast. And as you